Week 17 kicks off with the final Thursday night football game of the season. We got one playoff team, another team that might get there, and not a whole lot for either to play for. The Cowboys come in looking to build off of momentum from their Week 16 win over the Eagles and build on performances of guys like Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb, and Micah Parsons. But winning the NFC East, even with that win under their belt, remains a long shot. They'd need to win out, and the Eagles would need to lose out. And the Cowboys can't affect their wildcard positioning at all. No other NFC wildcard contender can catch them in the standings, meaning Dallas is almost certainly locked into the fifth seed. As for the Titans, they'll be looking to stem the tide of a five-game losing streak. But the reality for Tennessee is they can win or lose, the Jaguars can win or lose, and regardless of any of that, their Week 18 game will be for the AFC South title. As such, Mike Brable conceded this week that he could wind up resting some players that are banged up, including Jeffrey Simmons and a couple of offensive linemen. Hey everybody, Fabs here with your big fantasy storyline for the Cowboys-Titans game. And the storyline could be Derrick Henry maybe not playing all that much. The Titans have a chance to win the AFC South, but this game against Dallas doesn't mean anything in terms of postseason seeding. They've got to go into week 18 and beat the Jaguars in order to make the playoffs and win that division. So Titans head coach Mike Vrabel could decide to rest some of his starters against the Cowboys, and that includes Derrick Henry. Now, I get it. It's a nightmare scenario for fantasy managers. You're in championship week, and you've ridden the king to the finals. But you want to be safe rather than sorry, so I'd be picking up Hassan Haskins or Julius Chestnut just in case. I get it. It is a massive downgrade if Derrick Henry does not play or is limited in this game, but it's a scenario you have to be prepared for. Jennifer Piacenti here with SI Betting, and I'm eyeing up a Dak Prescott prop for over one and a half passing touchdowns at SI Sportsbook. Now, though the Titans' run defense has been one of the best in the league, they've allowed 26 passing touchdowns this season. That's the second most behind only Kansas City. And meanwhile, the Cowboys technically are still fighting for an NFC East title, and they'll want to get a head start on Thursday. Dak has thrown for two or more touchdowns in seven of 10 games this year, and he'll do it again this Thursday.